And here is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood considering a critical care scenario, kindly tell me how would you manage this patient? I would manage this patient in the barn unit as okay. per ATLS protocol. Yes. How can you explain how would you go ahead with your management I plan? Management plan with ABCD, airway, breathing, circulation. At okay. first, I will look for uh, his airway, any patterns if it's present or not, in, 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 as there is a suit in the nostril. So it may be a airway burn. So I will give um, early intubation to prevent a airway edema. And then okay. I will look for breathing. Um, if there are any breathing difficulty, I will go uh, give him. Give him uh, How much oxygen, oxygen would you give? How much oxygen? 10 liter, 10 liter of oxygen. High flow. All right. Okay. High you, flow said you, you said you'll be managing this patient in burn unit. Can you name the criteria for patient to be managed in burn unit, please? Um, and in case of adults, more than 15%. In case of child, more than 10%. Any case of airway burn, um, in or... case of adult, yes, involvement of air, air, airway and face a or genitalia. Face, face okay. or genitalia. Yes. Anything else? In case of child, more than 10% of total body surface area. Considering uh, the burn that this patient has, this person has uh, acquired, can you cal calculate how much surface area has been burned? I will calculate this according to rule of policy, rule of nine. Okay. As it says, nine percent, trunk, nine, nine, eighteen percent, left yes. arm and both thigh, total nine percent, uh, forty-six percent of burn. Right. This it says that patient had a second degree burn. Can you define the term second degree burn? A second degree burn means the full thickness burn, uh, that is white, leathery, and desensitized area. All right. How would you take care of the nutritional status of this patient? As it is a um, more than fifteen percent of burn, I will give um, total parenteral nutrition. Yes. Uh, it is a catabolic state. I will give high protein diet, high protein nutrition. And yes, I'll how would you calculate give... the amount of nutrition or the fluid that this patient requires? I will calculate the nutrient uh, 2 ml per kg body weight um, into percentage of barn area. All right, anything else? What else would you consider? I will give the um, crystalloid fluid. Yes. Uh, cause, uh, can you uh, name the, factor? what I want to know, please, can you name the factors that you'll consider before you'll calculate the fluid therapy, adequate amount of fluid therapy for this patient? So according to the clinical measurement or assessment, we will consider uh, the, the peripheral, peripheral wait, valve and... Oh, I will um, look for cardiac synthesis, that is peripheral valve, capital yes. A, refill time and uh, yes. out. And the core and temperature, venous, hematocrit. Uh, say, core temperature, hematocrit, and central venous pressure, and its response to fluid challenge. 
what are the complications that you have to consider or keep in your mind while giving the fluid therapy uh, in a burn patient? Uh, it patient may develop hypovolemic shock. Okay. Or um, and? may develop sepsis. Yes. Acute respiratory distress syndrome, renal yes. failure. Yes. Electrolyte imbalance, coagulopathy, hemolysis. Yes. Uh, what are the common are... electrolyte uh, disturbances that occur in patient with burn? Hypercalcemia, hypocalcemia, yes. uh, hypo and hypernatremia. Yes. Okay. What is uh, disseminated intervascular coagulation? Uh, yeah. It is the um, consumptive coagulopathy. Yes. Um, can you explain well, the mechanism, uh, how it takes place in a burn patient? Um, yes, I will come back to this later. All right. Okay. When you have to consider the degree of burn in a patient, how do you consider it? How do you define it? Or how do you determine it? First degree burn and second degree burn. Yes. It will depend upon the depth of the skin burn. Very good. Uh, good. When it is a first degree burn, it will superficial. Uh, skin will be red or white. Blister will be present and skin will be sensitized. It is, so uh, when on it the is basis a... of extent and depth. All right. Good. Yes. Okay. Can you please tell me what are the causes of ARDS, adult respiratory distress syndrome? Uh, in in, burn, in burn patient, uh, there may be infection, sepsis, uh, aspiration, any kind of trauma, uh, any pulmonary injury. Yes. Uh, and? In burn inhalation, any kind of chemical inhalation. Yes. How much On should the... be the yes pressure? Sorry. Pulmonary um, artery pressure, pressure less than less than eighteen millimeter of mercury. of mercury. All right, good. Can you tell me if this patient, God forbid, undergoes uh, in ARDS, how your management would differ? I will uh, at first um, um, give the respiratory support yes. in ITU by positive end expiratory pressure of 5 to 15 centimeter of uh, water to prevent premature alveolar closure. Then I will prone the patient to adequate proper ventilation. I will give the low dose of steroid to improve mortality and morbidity outcome. For sepsis, I will give broad spectrum antibiotic. Fluid will be same. And I will give the nutritional support, high protein diet. Uh, thromboembolism can be prevented by low molecular weight heparin. Gastric ulcer can be prevented by prophylactic medication. If there is fluid overload, I will give who's the mind? 40 to 120 milligram per 24 hour. Um, if uh, there is a circulatory failure, I can give low dose dopamine. Uh, or dopamine. Okay. What are the investigations that you would ask for in for this patient during ARDS? ARDS, I will ask at first. I will ask for a uh, plain X-ray chest. Okay. What do you expect to find in the X-ray? Um, uh, bilateral me, diffuse yes. skull. This is a plain X-ray chest. Yes. Uh, PFU showing. Bilateral diffuse pulmonary infiltration. Yes. Uh, the cost of training angle is obliterated. Yes. And there is cardiomegaly. Most probably the patient yes. is in the supine position. Yes. Other bony, there is no bony deformity. Yes. And trachea central in position. Yes. Um, Very good. Very good. Okay. Okay. Yes, cell has gone. And yes, if one last question, you can tell me the pathophysiology of uh, ARDS. In uh, acute phase acute and reparative phase. phase, and phase yes. Reparative phase. Yes, yes. In acute phase, there is widespread destruction of capillary endothelium, extravasation yes. of protein rich fluid, and interstitial edema, which leads to uh, migration of neutrophil and which causes extreme release of cytokine. Then 
uh, alveolar basement membrane will be damaged and fluid seeps into the air space, stiffening of the lung. In the and later phase, uh, fibroproliferation occur, which causes organization of lung tissue. Very good. And uh, there is extensively there is lung scar effect. scarring. Very good. And uh, in the acute phase, there is weak mismatch, mismatch as well. Very good. Yes. Good. Thank you.